Let's, uh... That's dark orange, okay. So these still haven't ripened sufficiently to panic about. Turning up this line. Yeah, this thing here, collision. Get that big building there, no collision. value at quite a phenomenal rate I think. And it's not even morning of the first day, or end of the morning of the first day. We're working this map quite quickly. I did slow down the uh, road speed. speed. Um, obviously, starting on New Farmer, it starts on high growth. Can't remember if I stuck it on middle or slow. Normal or slow, I think they call it. <coughs> But we do have a lot of work to do. kind of like time to do it in. Interesting grades on these fields, just off the fields.
actually wondering. I don't do much in the way of multiplayer gaming that I run. But I wonder if this map is the same as Marwell. Which apparently in multiplayer mode does not come with the main farm. nearly done. Is so white, I can't even see the bright lights. As I mentioned before, it's um, I sometimes don't lift my foot off the brake sufficiently. It's why I play with stop and go off because I find it I should probably have a dead spot on the uh, the accelerator and the brake so that I have to push it a little bit further before it engages although the way I've got this set is quite comfortable for me but the issue is as I can get to there I can't see a thing and when I put the brake on, um, I then don't lift my foot off far enough. It's usually when I'm going backwards, I put the brake, uh, you, know, you push the right pedal to apply the brake when you're going backwards. Totally illogical, but... Then I, uh, you know, I have to lift my foot off it and then push it back down again to make the track to go forwards. And I don't pull off for either a long enough or. Uh, so that's the brakes on, and I have to lift it off and then push forwards. And sometimes what I end up doing is just lifting my foot much too quickly for the uh, pedal to trigger. And oh. let's try that one again. There we go. And so the brake remains engaged, and I don't go anywhere. <coughs> okay, this is probably the last trip all the way to the end of the field. From here on in, it gets progressively shorter.
actually have one field left to prepare. It's covered in straw at the moment. I'd like to get that recovered before I... Uh, get the limer and plough on it. field. At this edge of the field, should I say. sufficient that we now don't need to plow the grass. We do the rest of this. try not to reverse the tractor into the stream. So that would not do it much of use good. turn around off the field rather than on it. And this field actually has the leeway to do that. A lot of fields on this farm and you're kind of stuck. Obviously not so much rain at this end. Uh oh. Try not to roll down my hill into the water, please. Thank you. So for the coming week we are back on normal school schedule, so kids will be in bed at 8 o'clock because they have school, however 
Our new kitchen work is starting as of tomorrow. So at least a couple of days this week, that could mean eating out. Which means I might not be able to start quite as close to 8 o'clock at that point. Because obviously kids still need a bath. We'll really have to play that one by ear because it really depends on how, um, what state the kitchen's in, whether it can be used or whether we have to make alternate arrangements that particular day. Bit of a miss to the left there. Done with this field. remember to not run off and do something else before I've checked all the fields. Obviously the most important thing is, is to get fields into a productive state so that they are on the way to making you money. 
that's why I did field 7 when I did. I think the next stage will be fertilize 7 and then we'll come back to this one with the cedar. And seed it and fertilize it. And we'll probably go and spend some money. Because we're going to need a loading wagon, so I might as well just buy one. Grab the straw off that field. We can worry about buying a mower later. But with, once again, we are going to need one eventually. Especially if I want to do sheep and stuff. Probably cows. So there's a tiny bit of ground to the lower right there that I missed. Could be shadows. I think it's uh, dirt. Feels dirt. Uh, actually, hard to tell. Okay, that job is done for now. I remember so often driving down here. Behind us, there used to be a grass field over that rise. There's now a river. And the grass field was added on the version 2 release. When they expanded the map originally. Okay. I'll drop this down here. do the cultivating and seeding at the same time. But we're out of luck for that. Okay, so these still aren't done ready. Yeah, we'll do stuff on that one. Spread fertilizer on that one, then we'll come back to this one and plant it. Since nothing's grown yet, we don't need the uh, we don't need to change the tires. And fertilizing is obviously quite a quick job. are at the back here from when I unloaded this thing. So we'll go grab that. Make sure we don't get the line. Okay, which is which? Oh. Looked like lime, that looks like fertilizer. Yes, fertilizer. Oops. Alright, there we go. Actually, I think what I'll do is when I go to the store for the loading wagon. I'll also take the front forks and get ourselves a, a pallet mover. No. 
new video. Okay. Okay, let's go. Looks like we actually managed a good pass on that. Very close to the edge. Ah. Really? 10 o'clock already? Oh. I guess. I'll try and keep a straight line. That's always good. For even spread. Yeah. Generally close enough. Oh, sorry, dude. Slight, we're clear for the end. So, how does that look? Okay, narrow strip along the edge. So, I think next time we can afford to do a little bit of more of an overlap because. Field isn't going to get done in a couple of passes. Got mm -hmm. one down here to finish that bit off too. As I've said, a bit of a waste of a. Uh, fertilizer but uh, it gets done. We I'm an hour ahead of you. Oh yes that would put you in central time I believe. So we are done with the fertilizing on this field. So the way we stand at the moment, field seven is as far as we can progress it for now. We need to seed this and then fertilize it. I need to collect the straw on that. I might go and get myself a collection wagon right now. It's very much a nos uh, sort of a nostalgia map, uh, Taylor. With trees everywhere. <laughs> it's 
you can see the roads are a little bit wider. The general layout of the town is the same. They moved the shop and replaced it with a gas station. And the new shop is now just outside town and is a you know, newfangled affair. So we are going to unload this again. I'll unload it here. Actually, I might put this in here for now. And I'll put the weight back in the main yard. two fields in the top left. <coughs> this bit up here, that is a vast area of grass that if you have uh, 1.1 million you can buy that area and start developing it. Oh the blue ones, blue fields in the top left. Oh that over there I have no idea I think that might be lakes but, uh, yeah this area is not part of the map although it has potential and I wouldn't be surprised if uh, with black sheep modding we get uh, the old stream farm 19 version 2 where this all becomes part of it maybe this bit over here becomes part of it and maybe this forest over here. I mean in essence you've got this bit here which is mostly as we remember it. I mean this road here is new. Goes all the way around the back. Um, rejoins here. That used to be a uh, an agricultural field which has gone. Um, and you've got the horse yard there. You come down, there's the cell point, you go across the bridge into the town. And then this bit down here is all new. That's where the new shop is. Um, you go up there. This is all new. So we've now got a back entrance to the farm, onto the road network, which will take us down to the store, or you can go through the town. The BGA which was there is now a cell point and the BGA is relocated over here. So subtle changes, the f but the, the main street itself very much reminiscent. You've got the narrow field there, you've got the field with the power um, pylon there which you can drive through because it's not got a collision on it. I believe that used to be a grass field, that's now an arable field. Um, this used to be a grass field and still is. That used to be one of the arable fields you started with and is now a grass field. I remember those two being grass fields. I can't remember that one. It's behind the BGA next to, I think that was a regular field. Same with these two. These were regular fields, that was a grass field, because I remember mowing that one. I remember mowing that one. They're 14 and 15, but I think they added a big field there on their second version of FS17. That's now gone and we've got 16, which is even bigger. Um, well, I'm on the growth map, so we've either got a state of ploughed, which is not that one because I, I used a subsoiler, so it's got cultivated. 
So that's cultivated. I really don't know what those two are. They kind of look cultivated, but... Uh, yeah. Oh, there's also a train track. Um, you can't get at the train track here. But it does come round here and right along the edge of the map there. As you drive past the BGA. Haven't seen any trains on it. So, not sure about that. Anyway, what was I doing? I was getting the front loader for arms. Because we need a pallet for 